What is going on, collective? Welcome back to Jewelry Box Hero with your girl Jess. Get a drop these jewels. Today's reading is going to be for the whole collective. Well, we got Friday, and yes, it's for the new moon that we have tomorrow. That's in full effect. Okay, new moon in Aquarius. Yeah, there's a karmic mask going out here in these streets. But when I was shuffling the tarot, and first you showed up. And as I say that, you so blessed, you can bless others. Okay. But underneath that deck is the um hierophant. So let me tell you something. God not playing. Universe not playing. Your ancestors not playing. With the Saturn energy, karma, they're not playing. So they owe you, feel me? <laughs> so let's see. They bought everything that you lost. That's it's it's something's about to trigger it to make it all come in. Okay, yeah, low key, high key. Feel me? Let's see, I can see what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, somebody really tried to steal what was for you. Just seen Libra, a male cousin. Okay. Yeah, somebody trying to understand why you're deserving of something. Tell them because God says so, man. Tell them because God says so, man. God says so. Okay. Yeah, somebody tried to sacrifice you. God said, no, 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 no. Not my child. St. Virgo. Virgo, you could be shopping. Be careful. There's a false spiritualist out here. Okay. Yeah, be careful. False, Vir oh, false Virgo, I said what I said out here, okay? Could be a male cousin here, okay? Yeah, this person could be upset that you don't mess with them anymore. They feel left out, whoever this is. Could be even a co-worker here, okay? Oh, <clears throat> on call. Yeah, on call. No, at the end of the day, though, Collective, you're number one, okay? Some of you could be runners, could have ran track or something like that. Flow joke, like the Olympics, whatever. But you're on, yeah, you're number one, and somebody's on that Kill Bill energy, okay? Somebody is, like, out here seeking revenge for, like, years, from, like, years ago or whatever. Okay. Yeah, they need to be like Elsa and let it go. <laughs> All right, I just seen Pisces. Somebody could be trying to tap into your dream state. Yeah, especially during these hours, okay? You've been feeling weird, feeling funny. Somebody tapping into your dream state. I just seen Leo. Yeah, Leo, you could be getting haunted by dark spirits. Somebody trying to fuck with you. Let's see. Yeah, there's Libra. Okay, Justice is here, though. I just seen Scorpio. Something's coming to an end. Like I said, God said, not my child. This person ain't sorry. Okay. I just heard when they feel the wrath of Gru. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, this person could have, like, minions after you, trying to kidnap you, abduct you. Steal your energy. Take what you got going on. Now these motherfuckers got paid a piper. All right. So let's put these decks back together. We're going to see... Yeah, somebody dumb. Dumb. Just dumb. Somebody did something real dumb. Now they out here crying a river. Or they gonna be crying a river. Somebody really ganged up with a bunch of people. This whole group right here. Somebody ganged up with this whole group. Throw the whole group away. Yeah, they all deserve an Oscar for the roles that they played. Especially when they try to pull out Woe Is Me. Somebody definitely want to be like you. Real, real bad. Real bad. But they don't get it. Common sense ain't so common. Be yourself. Get on your own path. Stay in your own lane. Somebody about to be shown something. Whatever they've been trying to send you. I just seen somebody jump up scared as hell. Their eyes big popping. Yup. Schizophrenia. Somebody going crazy. Mentally insane. All them dark spirits and shit they was playing with. That shit coming right back to their eyes. So let's see. There's Sagittarius. Here's Libra. 
good karma, good fortune and karma coming. These karmics catching it. That's all a fortune and justice card right there. The karmic well is changing. Whoever this male cousin is, you're in trouble, sir. So, Divine Holy Spirit, what do we have here for the collective? What do they need to know for the new moon? What was that? Mm. What do they need to know for this new moon? Next 48 hours or the weekend, this new moon energy. What does the collective need to know? Divine Holy Spirit for this new moon and Aquarius. What does the collective need to know? Divine Holy Spirit. What do they need to know? All right. Oh, yeah, my soccer definitely came back. Let me tell y'all some funny shit, right, real quick while we so I get into this. So, yeah, the Gemini video premiered yesterday at like 11, or 11.44, 11.45. Yeah, by the end of the video, they came back to stock. And they came back by the end of the night, 12 hours later. Let me tell you something. I, whoever you are, I'm not going to read you for free. I'm not going to give you a free reading. That's why I'm saying it's now after I done got, let these cards fall. You're not going to get a free reading out of me, bro, sis, okay? You come and visit my website at least once a day, every day. Just book with me. Just book with me. I'll be gentle. Scout's honor. I'll be gentle. So, enough of that. Collective. It feels like I've known you my whole life, okay? So this could be love coming in as well. I did see a king of cups who was looking at an empress. Somebody is deeply in love. So, yeah, it's going back to that confirmation that on call message what was that oh yeah somebody wants all of you okay but this is going um back to that on call message like stay ready so you don't gotta get ready because something's coming in somebody's coming in i heard they, they want to offer their hand okay somebody wants to take y'all somebody want to be with you somebody want to move to a higher level of commitment somebody wants to propose to you somebody like loves you like you mean a lot to whoever this is okay for what that love message is coming in like this person loves you and it's about like the three of pentacles showed up with it so it's like it's how you guys bond and how you work together that they're in love with like it's not like it's about any sort of passion or anything it's like work ethic and who you are as a person how grounded you are like this is why this person loves you okay time will tell okay I feel like, you know, that's why I'm like, be on call, like, be ready. So, you know, you ain't got to get ready. Stay ready. Okay. Because I feel like, yeah, you could be getting a message here through your phone. All right. This could be coming in within the next week from this person. Make sure you drink your water, ladies. Okay. But this person also thirsts after you. Like, they want you. They they think about you and they want you and where to party at. Like, they want to come through. They want to come through and chill with you. I'm hearing that. Miguel, come through and chill. This person could, like, come off like they don't want you or whatever. But it's like it's hard for this person. They don't. This person is unsure of their feelings. That's what it is. I feel like it's. A, and I just saw black magic. So somebody could definitely be fucking with this person mentally here. Where it's like one second. Like they're so deeply in love with you. They know what they want. Like they're very positive. Very sure. And then it just switched out of nowhere. And then they find themselves in this like woe is me type of state. Or trying to figure out like what the fuck just happened. But then it's like they can't shake you. So it's like somebody could be like trying to do magic to like hold somebody hostage to them. Or block your love connections. But it doesn't matter. This person they want you. Okay. We have the initials. F L R X Z first middle last name street name city name oh somebody pissed somebody talking hella shit this is somebody who's probably talking shit about you that's what this next stack back be about so I think we getting two little messages coming out I'm gonna move this one up top um but also the first name of the first initial of somebody's business wherever they work okay the initial the numbers one three and seven can be significant they could be in somebody's street address they could be in somebody's license plate you could be seeing them like one 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 three 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 seven 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 okay but i feel like this is somebody who's talking hella shit about you let's see this person crazy they're going crazy this is somebody who's going crazy here this is the bottom of the barrel motherfucker okay this is somebody, this could be an ex or something that felt like that y'all was everything, y'all was going to be together, but you realize that this person wasn't shit. This could even be a friendship or something like that, or just somebody who thought that they was going to be able to stick to your energy forever, okay? But you cut that bitch off, okay? This could be an ex-wife, you could be an ex-wife, okay? Who's bottom of the barrel, you could have cut somebody off, whatever, because they're bottom of the barrel. But 11-11, I feel like a wish was made for true love here, Okay? And now whoever you cut off who's going crazy, you could even cut them off over the winter. This person going crazy, okay? 
They ain't could be Jenny. All right. This is somebody who could have thought that they were your twin flame or acted as a twin flame here. I could be talking to a masculine. This person could be Hispanic, you or them. Okay. I feel like it's been a long time coming. You've been trying to cut this person off for a long time. We also got somebody of European descent here. Fair skinned motherfucker. Who could be bottom of the barrel going crazy or whatever. Okay. This Hispanic or whoever this is, this person was playing in Brujeria, okay? They could have got somebody to try to do something to keep you arrested, to keep you stuck to them, like I said. So, yeah, this is like, if somebody is coming in to love you, this is what's going on with them. Flip it, switch it if you're a man and, you know, you got a woman who like this, whatever. If you're a woman, this is what's happening to the man in the background, Okay. Somebody don't get it that common sense ain't so fucking common here. Like, they just be doing shit. Somebody just out here doing shit, okay? They're not thinking about the consequences. Yeah, like I said, I said it. You were thinking it, but like I said, it's there. Like, this person was here doing this stupid shit. Doing love spells and shit, trying to block stuff. Whoever this, this person is, this bottom of the barrel energy. You could be an ex-wife, so this could be your ex-husband. This could be being done to an ex-wife. Hell, this could be a man's ex-wife who coming through. Like, they thought they was a twin flame or trying to block a twin flame union. Somebody could have even went and paid somebody overseas to do some shit, okay, to do this shit here, all right? This ex-wife or whoever could be a European descent, Hispanic descent here, okay? But somebody made a wish for true love, and they cut somebody off. They definitely let them go during this season. Like, their time was up. I feel like it's been a long time coming for the last five years. Somebody could have been doing some shit as well. Paying somebody overseas to hold somebody hostage. They could have been trying to lead this energy here. But, like I said, common sense ain't common. Motherfuckers is holding on. Whatever. <laughs> We're clarifying from the top. Yeah, okay. No, this is this bitter bitch. It just said just pull this energy. This is a bitter bitch, like I said, who don't know how to move on. Libra energy, Aquarius energy. Could be a Leo here, Sun card. Like, they see it clear as day. They know that they ain't welcome here, that there's nothing here, but this person refuses to move on from this emperor energy. Okay, yeah, this emperor, though, ain't fucking with them. They ain't taking a bait. They ain't fucking with them. Like, literally. They ain't, uh, this person... Is become an ex and they're willing to become like a side chick or a side piece. They're coming in like, no, still want me and mess with me too. And this person's like, nah, that's too much drama because that's 10 swords in reverse. This emperor said, no, like I said, they said, no, I'm not fucking with you at all. Okay. I'm not juggling. <laughs> I'm better than that. Okay. And this bitch is mad. So she out here doing all type of voodoo, black magic, whatever the hell, trying to stop something, Santeria, somebody going for it. Tell me about this queen of swords for this new moon. Who out here playing in this shit? This somebody could have kids with or they're attacking the Queen of Cups here, okay? Somebody who is this person's future, not their past. They're upset as well. Yeah, this is a karmic bitch who's trying to change the world with this full moon. This new moon coming up, I told you. Whoever this Queen of Swords is, they're attacking somebody, a Queen of Cups, during this full moon to try to change fate because they don't want this emperor to go towards them. Okay? Yeah. They want to try to make something hard, but that shit about to flip back on them. So this is a warning for you, Karmic, if you're watching. Because that Queen of Cups you're attacking is an Empress. You got, like, fucked up. Is this Empress, Empress. And that shit not going to touch them. That offer is denied. Whatever you try to send toward them is going sent back. Why can't you move forward, Queen of, Cup, um, Queen of Swords in reverse? Queen of Wands reverse. Who mad? Who not getting fucked either? Because you're juggling. You're struggling. You're stuck. Nobody wants you. Everybody knows the truth about you. Whore! That's what I heard. Like, I, I heard. It's like the townspeople looked at her and screamed, Whore! Everything is slowing down for the for um whoever um this Queen of Swords is. That's why they're upset. They have no work. They don't work. They're lazy. Okay? They... Common sense based on common. How about we say this? This person is also juggling with their health as well. Yeah, they keep trying to bind this person and it's not working. This person has worked with a lot of people, spent a lot of money to try to bind this emperor to them or block out this relationship and it's not working. All that mind fuckery and all the mind games they're trying to play is not working. Instead, it's, it's flipping back on whoever this queen of swords, queen of wands and reverses, whoever this karmic energy is, it's flipping back on them. And it's, that's why that schizophrenia card is here. Confirmation. This person going crazy and they broke, like I said. This person broke, Queen of Pentacles. They could never. And they out here still trying to do some sort of magic shit. What's this emperor talking about? Oh, okay. He said, let's talk about this codependent bitch. She keep coming in and trying to offer me love and act like she care, but I know that shit fake. What else? 
Yeah, we got Leo, we got Virgo. My bad, I ain't call no signs. Capricorn, we got um Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio. Okay, Cancer out here, Libra, Taurus. Right now, I think everybody done showed their face by now. Yeah, but this person is just like, I don't have the strength to be dealing with codependent energies no more. I'm not trying to do this. There's no decision to make. I see this person for who exactly they are. They can never be my empress. And that's what I'm choosing. Yeah, this emperor here is blocking this person. They're doing the best they can because they know that they got a better opportunity here. Okay, and like I said, they're not going to cheat. They're not up for doing that. The ten of swords in the reverse. That's what I said. They told this person, no, I'm not doing that. They're blocking this person's advances. What is this? Yeah, they're no longer confused, especially when this person comes in and tries to manipulate them, okay, with this bullshit talk. Like, this person comes in and tries to pick fights, tries to argue. They're always fine. They always question everything going on in this emperor's life. Bitch, you have no say. You have no say. The three of C, yeah, he does not love you. He is not coming to fuck with you. He is not going to put his true queen of cups in a third-party energy. He's not going to do it. He leaving that shit away. Like, he said, no, I'm not going to take no loss. He's not taking a loss. There's no love there. He don't love you. He balancing things out. I know it's real hard. It's real hard. Then maybe that's why this bitch got this gun. Jenny's got a gun. Why she out here with the bullshit? What else? Yeah. There's no love here, ma'am. Sir, don't love you. Okay. Not at all. Not stressed. Not worried about you. And the three of cups in reverse. Yeah, he following his intuition. He see exactly what the fuck it is. This person been trying to study them and think they know what's going on. They don't know shit. They're dumb. So he hold them back because he realized that everything that this Queen of Swords has been trying to say, possibly even about this Empress, is all lies. Yeah, he's choosing the right way. And he feels sorry and bad that, you know, he pushed his Empress to the side for whoever this bitch is. Um, now there's this waiting period. Next three, somebody could get a message in the next three hours, okay? Something could be happening in three days as well. I'm not really getting weeks. <clears throat> That's the truth. I'm not really getting weeks. This person could be wanting to come to your house. They want to come visit you. They want to pull up. There's a confession coming in. That's what this top lesson is. They ain't coming to fight yet. They coming to confess. This person ain't coming to be a burden in your life. They coming to love you and take care of you and be there for you. Okay, yeah, they want victory and success. And that's what this top line is about. Spirit, do we have anything for the top line? Anything for the top line? Yeah, this person is not coming in to play these fucking games. Like, they're not coming in to play all this mind shit. They're done playing these childish games. They're coming back to, like, fulfill wishes. Yeah, risky. But they're making this decision here. So my, I feel like somebody refuses to miss an opportunity. They may not have been saying anything, but they've been thinking about it, whether or not this is something that they want to, you know, try to get up again. But I feel like this person is coming out of their head. We got Aries, we got Scorpio, that's a tower. Yeah, this person wants to bring balance. They're, they ain't worried about what anybody else got to say, Sagittarius. They're coming in, they're trying to travel towards you. They're deciding to come towards you. And that's now drawing us down into this energy here. It is. Yeah, they're releasing, they're no longer holding back. What's some advice for the collective? What do they need to know? Close this out. Advice for the collective to close this out. Yeah, whoever, and I'm reading energy, there's somebody who want to come back around and just want to have sex with you or something, or, or, you know, I don't know, somebody who's just into your looks or whatever. Don't don't get this person the time of day. That's not who it is. Whoever this is from your past could be a fire sign, okay? And they could be trying to come through, drive through, all right? But don't, don't get them, no, that's not the one, <laughs> okay? What else? Yeah, you have something real nice and better coming in, okay? I feel like this is somebody that when you open your eyes in the morning after your dream, this is the last person that you remember seeing in your sleep or whatever. Somebody that you probably are in no contact and communication with right now, okay? So you really don't see this. But again, this is that three of pentacles I've seen. This is the person who wants to come in and actually work with you. It may not be happening right now because I feel like there's a lot that needs to go down, yeah. This person does want to send you a message, though. But they just want to make sure that they um, are saying the right words and they don't want to come in as this king of wands in reverse because like i just said that's that's not the person okay and they know this so they don't want to come in about that they want to manifest you incorrectly they want this to be pure they want this pure yeah they're not trying to invest in no fake shit no fake love or nothing they ain't trying to give you no small ass offers no fake shit they ain't trying to come in you know for a short time they trying to come in for a long time okay yeah this person also could be working on getting their money situation together, their finances as well, especially because this Queen of Swords in reverse 
she's also the queen of pentacles in reverse so she could have like really fucked up this dude money so he's probably trying to get this shit together yeah and i feel like whatever divorce that may be happening or separation between them is real hard right now this bitch making it hard she making it real fucking hard yeah but he working and he getting ready to come in yeah what does he getting ready to come in and make this offer of love here but he put in that work but right now he that this dude working he ain't doing nothing else he only thinking about your love if somebody else even tried to offer him anything he cutting that out because he know where he going and he know what he working towards <laughs> spirit said cut this deck Pero, oh no, mira, por qué? Yeah, somebody could definitely be Hispanic here. It's in the details, okay? Yeah, whoever this ex is, all right? And what else? They also could have had a brother working with them as well, okay? Or somebody who is uh, melanated, you know, somebody who's melanated to try to help them and block this, but ain't nothing going to come out of that. This cycle is definitely complete here, okay? So, collective, that has been the message for the new moon. It was a love message, okay? Somebody's lover is coming in. We have a twin flame, a true twin flame union coming in together. Okay, ooh, that's cute. I'll cut the deck again. Everything is unfolding in perfect timing. So with that, I'm going to leave that there. If you'd like to book a reading, head over to my website, www.mnmnrgy.mnmenergy.com. I look forward to seeing you. I love your face. Till the next time we speak, peace out.